Hey, what's up guys? Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. Welcome back for another awesome tech product unboxed and reviewed. Today I'm going to be looking at a radio controlled infrared helicopter. So this is the Explore 610. So is it any good? Let's open the box and find out. So this is everything you get in the box. You've got your instruction manual there controller, the joystick, and your usual controls there, your on and off, okay, so that's the cable you will use to charge the helicopter with, okay, I opened the screw and I got access to the battery compartment, this takes six batteries, okay, so I've got my six double A's in there, okay, I got the light on, so this is ready, so the helicopter itself, if you have a look, it's really light, um, all of the top parts are like all floppy and and maybe it's supposed to be like that. We'll see in a minute when I turn it on. Okay, so the battery is dead. So I've plugged the helicopter in. The red light is on red. As soon as that's charged, that should go green. It takes about 20, 30 minutes to charge. Um, so I'll come back then. Okay, so I've turned the helicopter on and I'm gonna give this a test. I'm gonna put it on the floor. So I'm gonna hope I can get this in the video. I've got the controller ready. So there you go guys, that was the radio controlled infrared helicopter. Um, I had a good time testing this out um, and now I'm going to give you my thoughts. So this helicopter is very well made and is very light. And it was... So this fell so many times directly on hard wooden floor. As you can see there's not even one scratch anywhere on this. It's a very nice flexible material. But what's very interesting about it is as soon as you've taken off you're, you're able to control the helicopter with accurate precision to left, right, forwards and backwards so you know you have to use very slow and precise controls so when i first tested this i tested this outside in the garden i didn't record it and um, what happened was it went quite high it went about two meters high it landed on the garage roof don't try this outside straight away get used to the controls indoors in a spacious room like a living room or something don't worry if it hits things if it hits the walls and if it hits your furniture it's not going to damage anything the materials are a very very durable soft plastic it's not going to cause any damage this hits a wall it's not going to leave red paint marks anywhere because you can see this hit my wall so many times and it's so light you're completely safe uh, this is not for small kids you can see it says age 14 and up so i'll put the links in the description so you guys can check this item out in case you want to buy one yourselves i hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a brilliant day